We've been hard at work these past few months building our new spaceships. Hi, I'm Mike Moses, Spaceline President. Great progress is happening on multiple fronts. So let's launch into our latest accomplishments in this episode of Galactic 10. Beginning at number 10, we have started the first of many integrated tests in our primary flight control system. Integrated test benches like this one allow us to see how both the hardware and the software perform as one combined system. Pilot commands from our new side stick are sent to the central computer where our software translates that input and sends the commands to our flight control actuators located at the back of the spaceship. The software is really the secret sauce here as those individual commands can be tailored just right depending on what phase of flight we are in, rocket boost, landing, or even when we are outside the Earth's atmosphere. Number nine, one of the main structural components of the wing, the aft spar, was completed and delivered to our spaceship factory in Arizona, where it was installed into our large wing-up assembly tool. Meanwhile, the wing's forward spar has been built and cured in the autoclave. It is off to be trimmed, inspected, and then shipped from Carbon Aerospace's Red Oak facility to our factory in Phoenix. At number eight, our safety and test facility, home to our ground test articles, continues to stay busy. These articles replicate our spaceship's systems and hardware designed to allow early testing prior to flight. There, the nose landing gear has been installed and is preparing for qualification testing. Additionally, the four wing leaning edge air bottles have also been installed. These bottles are located near the front of the wing and hold compressed air that we use for multiple systems on our spaceship. In addition to providing breathable air for the cabin, we also use it to maneuver the vehicle in space and activate systems like the landing gear and the feather actuator. Number seven, speaking of the wing leaning edge air bottles, the forward structural component of our wing called the leading edge shear web is where those bottles are mounted. Those crucial structures are in Phoenix and have moved from their sub-assembly tooling to the wing-up final assembly tool. Six, small parts like valves usually don't get a lot of attention, but they do have big jobs to do. We have just recently completed qualification testing of our propulsion systems relief valve. This small but critical component ensures the safety of our oxidizer tank. During normal flight operation, it sits there quietly, but if the pressure in the system were to ever get too high, it's designed to act fast to keep the system within defined limits. Heading into the final stretch at number five, I'm excited to share that our Phoenix factory has 100% of the assembly tooling installed on the floor. One of those new tools is the large fuselage final assembly tool, which is ready for components like bulkheads and fuselage skins. Assembly is now underway on the spaceship's aft pressure bulkhead, which just arrived at the factory to join the forward bulkhead. At number four, we launched We Build Spaceships. This series allows us to go into the depth and detail of our technology in a way that we never have before, showcasing the amazing talent of Virgin Galactic's expert team. Look for the next episode later this month. Number three, this past quarter, we started laying the foundation for the design of our next generation carrier ship. This new launch vehicle is a key element of our business model at Virgin Galactic. Building more spaceships means we need more launch vehicles. And this design effort will equip us to scale up our commercial space travel business. The launch vehicle program can also open new opportunities for these unique aircraft across a range of research and development applications. Coming in at number two, we have more wing skins. Our wings are made up of four separate skins, a left and right lower skin, plus a left and right upper skin. The pair of lower skins are already in Phoenix, and the pair of upper skins are finishing trim and final inspections before shipping to join the other pair. And at number one is progress on the largest subassembly of our new spaceship, the Feather System. Great strides have been made on its construction at Bell Textron. Like the wing skins, there are four Feather Boom skins, inboard and outboard skins for both the left and the right Feather Boom. Those are all in various stages of fabrication. Additionally, the final assembly tool for the boom has arrived and has been installed. These are significant parts and significant steps forward. Our team and partners are busy staying laser focused on the work of building spaceships. Thanks for following our exciting progress so far, and we can't wait to share more in the next installment of Galactic 10.